Cuba will see a major reform of its salary system from January 1st as the country eliminates its dual currency system and seeks to encourage increased productivity in order to boost the economy. Minister of Labour and Social Security Marta Elena Feito explained the fundamental aspects of the transformations ahead. Many people think that yes, that it was the right time and that it was the moment the country had to transform itself economically based on the very objective that had been proposed in the strategy and that it was an adequate moment to implement the tax of restructuring the economy. And an important aspect is talk about the need for people to work with motivation. And there are many opinions that say now people are really going to have to work. Now there will be motivation to work. And naturally, all that motivation to work, all that growth in productivity, all that will establish the economic growth that the country needs. And naturally, as the country grows, as the country develops, the quality of life of all of us will be important and we Within these dynamic salaries play a fundamental role. Likewise, the head of the Commission for the Implementation of Cuba's Economic and Social Policy Guidelines, Marino Morillo, offered an extensive explanation of the importance and magnitude of the wage reform as part of the overall strategy of the restructuring of the economy and referred to the dynamic relationship between wages and prices. If you increase incomes and you don't have the corresponding increase in supply, you can't think that there will be more people willing to pay 50 pesos per pound of rice and that it will stay at 50 pesos. That is, if you increase the solvent demand, we will have the rice issue once again. And we are going to have the phenomenon in the economy in the coming months, which is what is being discussed regarding the battle against speculative and abusive prices. But we have to make decisions to seek certain macroeconomic balances which is happening because if not it is not true that you can improve the purchasing power of that salary that you increased and the member of the communist party of cuba's political bureau also noted that this will not be the only salary adjustment but that there will be systematic evaluations to guarantee a fair income to improve the quality of life of all cubans so that the people understand that we are working on the basis of a wage fund of 139 billion that there are still doubts, misunderstandings, and that we are aware that this is the case, but that at this time there is no solution. And what I can say is that regarding all that has been said, this is not the first wage reform. Let's try to ensure that everything we have done is backed by wealth production and future wage reforms and assessments that will have to be conducted, and this will continue to be adjusted.